What would you do for the glory of God if you knew you couldn't fail? So I have three boys and they love to draw. And if I hand my four-year-old a marker and ask him to draw me a tiger, he's gonna take that and draw me the best tiger that he can. But if I hand that same marker to my wife and ask her to draw me one, she's gonna tell me that she can't draw. The only difference between the two is that somewhere along the way, someone has told my wife that she can't do it. If I ask my seven-year-old what he wants to be when he grows up, he'll either say he wants to be a professional soccer player or he wants to work at a gas station because he thinks he's gonna get free candy. You see, my kids have no problem dreaming, but if you ask me, I struggle to dream. I struggle to believe that God wants to use me. God, you, you know me, right? You know my past, you know where I come from, you know me better than I know myself. But that's the beauty of the gospel. Jesus redeems what was once broken. I'm encouraged because all throughout scripture, God used really old people and young people and messed up people like myself to do amazing things for his kingdom. In Ephesians 2.10, it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. I think of David in the Bible, who God used to kill a giant and to defeat an army. David, who became king, but he was also an adulterer and a murderer. But at the end of his life, God called him a man after God's own heart. Unfortunately, I'm going to mess up. But I'm reminded to not count myself out before God does. I'm reminded that the God of the universe created me for a purpose in his kingdom. I'm reminded to dream God-sized dreams. Proverbs 16.3 says, Commit your activities to the Lord and your plans will be established. So even though we've messed up, let's dream again. Think about this today. What would you do for the glory of God if you knew you couldn't fail?